Here are nine Apple Notes features you're not using but should. From scanning documents to automatically organizing your information, these tips will save you time and make your daily routine smoother. And make sure to stick around until the end and I'll show you how to download a free PDF with all these tips. So let's jump in. Declutter your home, business, and life while keeping every important paper at your fingertips. Scanning documents and notes lets you search, store, and organize them digitally. Here's how to scan documents. Open a new note, tap the paperclip icon above the keyboard, then select Scan Documents. Position your document on a flat, dark surface, and hold your device steady until the app automatically captures it. There are a few advanced tips you should know as well. First, if you're scanning multi-page documents, you don't have to scan them one by one. Apple Notes lets you capture multiple pages in one go, which is perfect for long contracts, invoices, or reports. Simply scan a page, and then when you move to the next page, it continues to scan. Next, organizing scanned documents is easy. Just tag them with things like finance, client, expenses, or taxes, and they'll automatically sort into smart folders that you've created. No more digging through files when tax season rolls around. And if you need to share a scan document, you can export it straight from Notes. Just tap the Share button, and you're ready to send it via email or save it to cloud storage. Imagine a world where your notes organizes themselves. Smart folders let you group notes automatically. It's a fantastic time saver. Here's how to set up your first smart folder. Tap the Folders button. It's the back arrow at the top left. Tap the folder icon with a plus sign. Name your folder and choose Make into Smart Folder. And we have all these different criteria we can use to automatically pull notes. We can use tags, dates, or group by other folders, for example. Then tap Done when you have selected your criteria. Now, Smart Folders are perfect for keeping work and personal life organized. If you manage multiple projects, for example, create folders for meeting notes, clients, or reports. And every time you tag a note, it's automatically filed where it belongs. Now, let's take Smart Folders to the next level. Instead of just using single word tags, combine multiple tags to refine your organization. For example, if you have a folder for work, adding work and also adding urgent ensures high priority notes show up instantly. As a small business owner, ideas, tasks, and reminders can pop up at any moment. Quick Notes allows you to capture important information instantly without disrupting your workflow, whether you're in a meeting, reviewing a contract, or researching a new business strategy. No more scrambling for a notepad or losing track of any details. First, I've added Quick Notes to my lock screen so I can just tap it to, and begin typing. Add all the relevant information, then later, when I go into Notes, just go to the Quick Notes folder, and I can categorize it, add additional links, and more information. Quick Notes are a lifesaver for small business owners. Here are a few ways to get even more out of Quick Notes. If you're browsing the web and find an important article, you can attach links directly to Quick Notes. Just tap the Share button, select Add to Quick Note, and it'll save the link alongside any additional notes you add. Now, if you prefer handwriting over typing, use an Apple Pencil or other stylus on a compatible iPad to sketch diagrams, sign agreements, or jot down quick reminders. And the best part? Quick Notes automatically sync across all your Apple devices via iCloud. Whether you're on an iPhone, iPad, or Mac, your notes are always accessible. Next, collaborating in Notes is like having a digital workspace where everyone can contribute in real time. Whether you're planning a group event, managing a team project, or organizing a family reunion, this feature makes it easy to share ideas, delegate tasks, and stay on the same page. For our family reunion, we shared a note with everything we needed and people could easily sign up. No duplicate desserts, no confusion, and everyone knew what to bring. And here's how to share and collaborate on a note. Open the note you want to share, tap the share button, make sure to choose collaborate in the share menu, not share a copy. Then set the permission level. People can make changes for full collaboration or view only for read-only access. Then choose how to send the invitation. For instance, you can send it in messages or email. Then send the invitation and your collaborators can start contributing immediately. You can also allow people to invite others to give them access to your note. Now, collaboration in notes is perfect for keeping everyone on the same page. 
Want to make collaboration smoother? Here's how. If you're working with a team, checklists are a great way to track progress. Assign tasks, and as people complete them, they can check them off. Everyone sees updates in real time. But one very important caveat, if you share a note that has a tag with someone, they need to add the tag manually on their side if they want to be able to quickly search by the tag from their menu and notes. When you send a note with a shared tag, it's treated just as text until the person adds it to their list. Now, drawing tools in Apple Notes let you do so much more than doodle, but in full honesty, I am not a good artist, I cannot draw, and I also have horrible handwriting, but there are those out there who are amazing, and this feature is for them. From annotating photos to creating detailed plans, this feature is like having a pocket-sized sketch pad. Here's how to start drawing. Open a note and tap the pen icon to access the drawing tools. Choose your tool, for pen for smooth writing or sketching, a marker for thicker, bolder lines, or a pencil for soft, pressure-sensitive strokes. Select a color from the palette or use the color picker to match custom tones. Then start drawing naturally on the screen. If you want to take full advantage of Apple Notes drawing tools, try these tricks. For precise sketches or diagrams, the ruler tool is a huge help. Just pinch and rotate it with two fingers to get the exact angle you need, and it automatically creates straight lines. And for more detailed drawings, mix and match tools. Start with the pencil for lighter sketches, then use the marker for bold outlines. It adds depth and clarity to your notes. Drawing tools and notes can be incredibly useful beyond simple sketches. And for small business owners, this is great for sketching out product designs, marketing concepts, or even a quick hand-drawn diagram for presentations. And if you're a student or educator, use the drawing tools to create visual study guides, explain concepts, or highlight key information in notes. If you make a mistake, switch to the eraser tool to fix specific areas without having to start over. Next, imagine having a ready-to-go framework for your weekly meal planning, meeting notes, or even vacation packing lists. Apple Notes does not offer templates natively, but it's easy to create them. The benefit is you save hours of repetitive setup every month. Here's how to create and use templates. First, create a folder called Templates. That way, it's easy to find and duplicate when needed. Then start a new note and design your layout. Add headings for sections, for instance, to do, notes, or reminders. Include lists, tables, or even embedded images. Now save the note. And when you want to use the template for a new note, open your template, tap the share button, and select copy. Now start a new note and press and hold the screen and select paste. You can now update your info and then move it to a folder you like. If you frequently write meeting notes, create a template with pre-filled scenarios like agenda, discussion points, and action items so you're not starting from scratch every time. For travel, make a packing list template so you never forget essentials. Just duplicate it for each trip and adjust as needed. Now, imagine creating your own personal business knowledge hub where every related idea or resource is just a tap away. That's the power of note linking. It's easy to link notes together. Open the note you want to add a link to and type two greater than symbols and then the title of the note to link. And once you choose the existing note or you can also create a new note, that's it. With the pinning feature, you can keep key notes like client tasks, business checklists, or financial records at the very top for quick access. Here's how to pin a note. Tap and hold the note you want to pin. Tap the pin icon to move it to the pin section at the top of the folder you're in. To unpin a note, just tap and hold and select unpin. Now, we can create a smart folder called pin notes and move it to the top of the folder list. Now you can see all your pin notes at a glance without searching through folders. If you have a daily task list, pin it so it's always at the top. No more searching for it every morning. We are now able to use passwords to protect our notes. Now I've saved this feature for last because I do not use it. There's just too many restrictions that limit its usefulness for me. That being said, it might be helpful to you. The problem I run into is you can't lock notes that have tags, PDFs, audio, video, keynote, pages, numbers documents, or notes that use IMAP to sync with accounts like Yahoo, Gmail, and Hotmail. You also cannot lock shared notes. And lastly, if you forget the password, there's no way to unlock the note. That is a ton of restrictions that make this feature unusable for me. But if there is a note you want to lock, follow these steps. 
Just tap and hold the note, select Locked Note, create a password, and enable Face ID for quick access. And that's all there is to it. These features take Apple Notes from a basic app to a powerful business tool that can boost efficiency and organization. Start with document scanning, then explore more advanced features like note linking and pinning to create a streamlined workflow. And if you'd like a free PDF with all these tips, just click the link in the description below. And if you found this helpful, tap subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.